Yo, hey, one level three power English. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hi, everyone. I'm Kristen Cho, and I'm Cameron Word. We are really like you know, next month is literally the day after today. Is it? Yeah. The day after. Yeah. It's it's soon. It's soon. I don't know math. I don't know calendars, <laughs> but it is soon. Yeah, that's uh-huh. right. So another month goes by, and uh, just want to let you know that all our books are available in bookstores, and you can also buy them online. Yes. And um, it's a little late, but if you are interested in, if I have free copies um, available, mm-hmm. you can visit me on Instagram at the Christian Cho yes. and send me a DM requesting a book. Yeah. So I hope to hear from you. Yeah. Or just visit and say hello. Yeah, it's true. We do mm-hmm. get some messages on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, they always get questions. I, or I always get Do questions, mm-hmm. either English questions mm. or, oh, you said this about your hometown. Uh-huh. They ask me more about that. Oh, or like, like that. your con- rental contract. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, I got a lot of messages when the, okay. my rental situation was not See, so great. See, people are listening. And people care. People care. It's so heartwarming. I know. Yeah. All right. So we've got a business dialogue for you today. Should I find another job? Part four. Mm. Okay. So this is our our last business dialogue. Let's see what happens. But before we do, we have three expressions that we're going to focus on. Now, you could say fire someone, mm-hmm. but maybe you want to use the term layoff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is kind of like a softer way of saying fire. Yeah. Fire also has the feeling of this person did something bad. Right. So I'm just getting them out of the company. Right. Whereas layoff can just mean, oh, our company is doing something, like is not doing well. We're downsizing. Uh 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 And we just have to let people go. Yeah. We're laying them off. Okay. So it is not, it is never, I guess, negative Mm -hmm. in the sense of like being punished by being laid off. How about plan B? Mm, This is your second plan. This is if your original plan is not successful, Mm -hmm. This is your backup plan. Okay. And how about bounce back? This is when you're recovering. Something bad happened. Mm -hmm. There was a setback, but you are recovering and going forward. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and listen to our Friday dialogue. Did you read the email this morning? I'm glad I started looking for a new job already. I can't believe they were in merger talks this whole time and didn't tell us. They should have told our department that we were likely to get laid off. I wish I had taken your advice two weeks ago and put together a plan B. You're the best programmer I know. You'll bounce back in no time. At least I'll have my severance pay to cover my expenses for a while. Okay, Megan begins by saying, did you read the email this morning? I'm glad I started looking for a new job already. Mm. Okay, so it is true. What is true? Let's find out. Yes. Byron says, I can't believe they were in merger talks this whole time and didn't tell us. Okay. So merger, M-E-R-G-E-R. I mean, this is a very business term. Meaning Mm -hmm. two companies are coming together Mm. and making one company. Yeah. Okay? Mm. Now, they were in merger talks. So they were talking about merging. Yeah. And our power pattern today is this whole time. Yes. Now, you emphasized whole, Mm -hmm. which is a very important part of this expression. Mm -hmm. Tell us. What does it mean? So the kind of basic definition of Mm -hmm. this meaning is... During the time, Mm -hmm. at the same time. Right. But the nuance here is that you feel that there has been betrayal, some lying, Mm -hmm. some deception, Mm -hmm. something secret going on. So someone knew something Mm -hmm. and they were hiding it Mm -hmm. and doing something else Mm -hmm. the whole time. Right. So it's like, you knew this would happen, Mm -hmm. but you didn't say anything. That is the nuance with Mm -hmm. the whole time, this whole time. Yeah. And so the emphasis on the word whole Mm -hmm. means literally from the start to the end. To the end. 
But in this situation, mm. the company was like, oh, no, we're okay. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. It's fine. Right, right, right. They right. were saying it, but the whole time mm-hmm. they were already planning something else. So, and sometimes when you see in movies, it's like, were you just acting the whole time? Yeah. You knew about this? Mm-hmm. So it is an emphasis like, you kept a secret? Yeah. You were lying you or were you lying? were pretending yeah. the whole time? The whole time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Megan says, they should have told our department that we were likely to get laid off. Mm. So they're like, no, 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 it's not going to happen. But Megan's like, they should have told us a little bit. That we were likely, Mm -hmm. that there was a possibility Mm -hmm. that we would get laid off. Yes. Okay. So, lay off or laid off. Yes. Past tense. Okay, what does this mean? So, to lay off means to stop someone else's employment. Mm -hmm. To get laid off Mm -hmm. or to be laid off is your employment ends. Yeah. So, you're on the receiving end Mm -hmm. of... Not having a job anymore. Right, right. Mm. And so you mentioned before in the beginning that to be fired is is has that connotation, the meaning of like you did something wrong. Right. Right? Mm. Or that you didn't fulfill your duties or mm. responsibilities. Mm. But sometimes I feel that they do want to fire you, but they pretend mm-hmm. and they say, oh, you know, we're we have to lay you off. Yeah. So sometimes the the motivation is a little unclear. Mm -hmm. It can be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think even legally, Mm -hmm. uh, there is a difference if you are fired from your job versus if you're getting laid off from your job. Right. As far as what a company has to pay you to leave. Right. Right. And then you mentioned another expression, to be let go. Mm. We're going to have to let you go, which is a really nice way of saying... Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah. And this one could be just a a nice way of saying you're fired. Like, we're going to have to let you go. Right. Or it could be, I'm sorry, the company is downsizing. We have no money. We have no money. Mm -hmm. We Mm -hmm. have to let you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what does Byron say? I wish I had taken your advice two weeks ago and put together a plan B. Mm Mm-hmm. So Megan, remember, she's like, I think something's wrong. I'm going to look for another job. Mm. But Byron's like, no, I'm sure it's okay. So Byron is like, oh, gosh, I should have listened to you, yeah. right? And then if I listened to you, then I would have prepared a plan B. Yes. Okay, plan B. This is your second plan. Mm-hmm. This is the plan you will follow if your first plan fails. Mm-hmm. So Megan... I'm sorry, Byron wanted to keep his job, apparently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. His main plan was to stay with the company, Mm -hmm. but he had no plan B. Mm -hmm. He, if... If the company failed, Mm -hmm. he had nothing, he had no backup. That's a backup. It's like a backup plan. Yeah. Mm. You know, Mm. and this is, you can use this in this case. You can use it in like, you know, an actual thing where you'd have a plan. Like Mm -hmm. if you were traveling and Mm. it's like, okay, we're going to go to tourist site A, B, Mm. and C. Right. But if tourist site B is closed, Mm. we have a plan B. Okay. And we can go to somewhere else. Okay. Like just having options Mm -hmm. in case something goes wrong with right. your original plan. Right, right. Mm. And everyone, there is no plan A. Plan is a plan. But there is a plan B. Yeah, you would only say plan mm. A after you'd talked about plan B. Yeah. It's like, okay, that's plan B. Yeah, we're just going to stick with plan A. Okay. Like, it, it's only, you wouldn't just say it by, you wouldn't say plan A by itself. Yeah. Our plan A for the weekend is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. yeah okay, what does Megan say? You're the best programmer I know. You'll bounce back in no time. Okay. Mm. Bounce back in no time. So if you bounce back, yeah. um, it can be used in a number of different contexts, like when you're sick, yes. when you don't have a job. Yes. What does this mean? This means you are recovering. Mm. And it's the feeling of you fell down and then you rise back up. Mm. So when I was young, I had this little blow up figure Mm -hmm. it was the shape of a clown okay but you punched it in the face oh yeah and it falls to the ground yeah 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 but then it pops back up right 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 it literally bounces back at you that's right and that's the feeling with this phrase Mm -hmm. that you are down for a bit but Mm -hmm. then you get back up that's it Mm. that's right so to it so someone who who easily bounces back in general Mm. 
uh, has a lot of resilience yes. and uh, is able to recover quickly. Mm-hmm. Okay, Byron says, at least I'll have my severance pay to cover my expenses for a while. So severance pay? So this could be confusing for Koreans because there is a hospital that has yeah, this name as well, right. which I believe has no connection. I think it's just someone's name. Yeah. But uh, severance pay is the payment you receive after you have been let go, Mm -hmm. you've been laid off from your job. So it could be a certain number of months pay. Uh, It could be, you know, other, you know, I've I've heard of people getting like vacations and stuff. Right. Or like, I know someone who got English lessons, like an English lessons package at an an English school is their severance pay. All right, great. Mm. Okay, so there are different forms of severance pay. But basically they're like benefits or money that they pay you. For, to, for a little bit. your employment, yeah. Right, right. Sorry, okay. we fired you. <laughs> Here's a little something. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and listen to that one more time. Did you read the email this morning? I'm glad I started looking for a new job already. I can't believe they were in merger talks this whole time and didn't tell us. They should have told our department that we were likely to get laid off. I wish I had taken your advice two weeks ago and put together a plan B. You're the best programmer I know. You'll bounce back in no time. At least I'll have my severance pay to cover my expenses for a while. It's time for Power Note. We're on pages 148 and 49. To lay off someone means, okay, you're going to have to leave the company. Yes. Okay. Uh, Why do you look so sad, Jake? Half the staff got laid off today. Half the staff? That's a lot of people. Goodness. When Bill got laid off, he had no idea it would be the best thing to happen to him. You know, sometimes that's true. Mm. Sometimes we get comfortable in a job that is okay, Mm. you know, but you don't want to leave because it's scary to leave. Yeah. It's not stable. Yeah. But there are always those stories of like people who get fired, Mm. but then they start a company. Right, right. But I mean... If there's one story like that, mm. there's 10 stories of people getting fired and it's then so, having a really bad time. It's so true. So, yeah. I mean, it's true. I mean, it's it's never good to mm. be laid off mm. and not have a job, but but it may give you the time to think about maybe some of the other opportunities. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's, you all hear all the time about like artists who they were working yeah. and then got fired. Right. And then they were finally able to Pursue. write their novel That's right. or paint their masterpiece, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, those types of things. So, okay. Mm. Hopefully hopefully we're not laid off here at EBS oh, anytime soon. Never. Oh, my gosh. They w- EBS would never do that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Please don't lay us <laughs> off. Okay. Plan B is the secondary plan. It's kind of like a backup plan. Yes. The original plan fails, mm-hmm. and this is the second plan. Yeah. What if this? What if it doesn't work out the way you want? Well, plan B is to sell the company and try something else. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't work out. You got to have another plan. Mm-hmm. Okay. The movie was sold out, so plan B was to go see live music downtown. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we had plans for a night of entertainment. Right. But. They had to be changed, Mm -hmm. right? Right. So you can do this for like universities. So yes, your first choice, just in case you're not able to go to that college, yeah, then you have a plan B, Mm. like a backup school Mm -hmm. uh, that you expect to be able to get into, or something like that. Did you do that? No, uh, uh, I actually went to my plan B. So I got accepted into my first choice. Oh, but they didn't give me a lot of money. Oh, what you was know, your first choice? My first choice was Purdue in Indiana. Purdue, yeah, I know. Yeah. It's a very famous school. But it was yeah. very far away. And expensive. It's expensive. Mm-hmm. And they only gave me like a half scholarship. <gasps> so uh, uh, I went to the school that gave me a full scholarship. Oh, my god! <laughs> I went to my plan B. Look, yeah. look at you. But it worked out because mm. that school let me study abroad for like two years. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah, amazing. It worked out. So it is one of those things. Like sometimes mm. your plan B mm-hmm. can end up being better than your plan a. Well, and and the example that you just sh- gave us is a g- great example mm, of that. Mm, mm. My gosh. Yeah. Okay. You can also be a person who doesn't have a plan B. Like, you know, certain people yeah. are very careful people. Mm. And so they're like, okay, if it doesn't happen, then we can do this. Like, maybe when you're traveling. Mm. Okay. I think it would be a good idea to always have plan Bs. Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't know what's going to happen. That's so true. Mm-hmm. Or just have no plan at all. Or have no That's plan. True. 
But you will hear this in a business setting. Mm-hmm. What's our plan B, boss? What yeah. if this doesn't work out? That's Sometimes right. the boss will say, there is no plan B. You have to make this work. Ooh. Like, you will hear that in mm-hmm. business, in movies as well. True. There is no plan B. <laughs> what do we do? You know, it's like Mission Impossible. Yeah. When he's like, what if the cable breaks? Well. Well, there is no plan B. I- <laughs> the cable breaks and you fall. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. Okay. So the next expression is bounce back. Mm. And this means to recover from a difficult situation, like a setback. Yes. Whether it's an illness or whether it's you lose your job mm-hmm. or maybe something fails. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've been so depressed since my grandmother died. I know it's hard, but you'll bounce back in no time. So this is emotionally uh, bouncing yes. back. Yes. So grandmother died, obviously very sad. Mm-hmm. Like that is a difficult thing to go through. Right. But once you are get through it and you're on the other side mm-hmm. and you're able to kind of live your life yeah. in a, a way similarly to how you did before, right. that would be bouncing back. Yes. Mm. Don't worry about Katrina. She will bounce back after the scary incident. Mm. This, again, is another emotional one. Mm-hmm. So you were scared. Uh, it can be physical. So let's say you got in a car accident. Yeah. And it takes you some time to recover. Sure. After you've recovered, you could say you've bounced back. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it is often used in, in the sort of medical or in when you have an illness yeah. to recover. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, well, you can even use it like for plants. Mm. So I have a peace lily. I think the Korean is spatipilum, oh, yeah. I think is what it is. Okay. Uh, they use the scientific name. Okay. But it, what it likes to do is it actually likes to like wilt the leaves. Like yes. you need to go down uh-huh. and look like it's starting to die okay. before you water it. Oh. So it like the leaves just go, I need water. Like it, they just fall down. Oh. And then you give it water and like two, three hours later, it's <gasps> bounced back. What? And it's just like, Ding! I'm oh okay. my gosh, that's so cute. Yeah. It's like they're talking to you. It's true. Mm. It's just like, I'm tired. I need a nap. <laughs> I need some so water. Great. And then you give it and they, they bounce Aww. back. Yeah. Okay. The whole time is our power pattern, mm. which is emphasizing really like from point A to point B. And it's usually about a secret or something yeah. you didn't know. Like, yeah. you lied to me. You knew this whole, whole time. time. Okay. You knew about it this whole time and didn't tell me? Same. Mm-hmm. I can't believe we were neighbors this whole time and never met until now. Yeah. So this is not a lie, uh-huh. but it is like a mystery yes. or something you didn't know yeah. that was revealed. That's right. Okay. Severance pay is our power vocab on page 150. Do check out the definition mm-hmm. uh, on your own. And let's thank our sponsor. 한국토익위원회에서 취업과 승진을 위한 토익 스피킹 용식원을 드립니다. All right. And stop by. 오디오 어학당. That's it. Mm. And you know what to do there. Pay a small fee yeah. for a lot of content. Yes, tiny, uh-huh. tiny. Okay. Tiny, tiny. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.